Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here and I did all right. I got uh, quite a bit of M2s and some green lights and some Johnny Lightning. And uh, I didn't get any chases or green machines or anything like that. And I didn't get no Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox. So it's been a little different of a weekend, but I did all right. I did pretty good, I think. And so we're going to take a look at these M2s first. And this first one here is a 124 scale. This is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air hardtop. And it's Moon Eyes. Absolutely love it. I think that's fantastic. I have a lot of these 57 Chevs from uh, M2. And uh, yeah, these things are just gorgeous. This has got the black interior with the uh, yellow accent panels in the seats there. It's just cool. And of course, it's got the moon eyes there on the fender. It's white with the black flames and the yellow. That is just sharp. I absolutely love it. And there's the front. You got gold in the grill there. This is not a chase, even though there's gold in the grill. This is not the chase. And uh, this release is uh, R104, and it would have came with the 50 set or with the uh, Chevy pickup truck as well. But uh, I missed it. But I did get this. Uh, 57 which is just awesome absolutely love it thing is fantastic nice job with that and of course it's moon eyes so yeah I'm all over it for sure so that's the 124 scale I got and I got this here this is a 1966 Ford C950 truck now it's a Cobra powered by Ford it says there and it's their hauler which is just awesome. I've gotten quite a bit of this Carroll Shelby stuff and uh, yeah, I thought I should have the truck. So uh, this I did order, so I did get it in, which is pretty cool. And there's the uh, front of her. You can't see much of it, but it's pretty cool looking truck. It's a nice color. It's got the black interior, blue exterior. Yeah, it's just really, really nice. And with that, I got the driver series which is uh, release 94 and the first one is a 1950 Studebaker 2R truck which is done in orange and it's Paz which is pretty cool not bad I have a lot of these Studebaker trucks I think that's pretty awesome I like the color it really makes it pop pretty cool there's the back of her. Yeah, very nice. And of course, the card art's pretty cool. That's all right. Not bad. And we got the 1968 Mercury Cougar XR7. Done in a green, which is a different color for this car for sure. With a white top, black interior. But it's still a pretty good looking car. Looks like the hood opens on this one. Not 100% sure, but it does look like it. But it's a, it's a nice casting of the car. I think they did a nice job of that. It's the back of her. Yeah, not much of the card art. Just a uh, cougar on the on the uh, card art there. That's, that's all right. And with this set, we've got the 1969 Chevy Camaro SSRS. And... Um, this one here was the chase in this series. I didn't get the chase. I just got the regular version of it. These are JE Pistons. And it says the industry's leader in forge racing pistons. So this is a pretty cool car. Not bad at all. Black interior. It's a dark blue exterior on it with a like a baby blue stripe there. Not bad. Blacked out wheels. Looks alright. Not too bad. Would have been nice to see the chase, but I didn't get it. But that's okay. And then we got a 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback 2 Plus 2 in this gold. Which is pretty cool. Black interior. It's got the uh, gold wheels on it. Not bad. And they're releasing these uh, driver series of just four cars now instead of the six. So that's not too bad. A little easier to get four than it is six sometimes. But uh, 
yeah pretty cool I like it and then we got this here set uh, I guess it's auto authentics and it's released 76 and the first one here is a 1959 Chevy Apache deluxe fleet side and it's planter peanuts it's pretty cool now not too many people are picking this one up I see it sitting there on the shelf still no I don't think it's that bad I think it's all right I don't know that and it says uh, go nuts on the hood there it's got black interior blue with the white got some yellow on the wheels there hubcaps I guess so pretty cool I like it and then we have the 1956 Volkswagen Deluxe USA model and this is done in orange and this here was the chase in this set this is not the chase the chase is gold wheels and trim on it but this is just your regular version and it's not bad it doesn't look too bad this one does not have a rear bumper on it now I didn't look to see if any of them had it on there or not but maybe this one's missing I don't know I should have checked that out before I just grabbed the set but whatever it's got black interior it's not a bad looking orange not too bad I don't mind that at all and then we got 32 Ford Roadster which is a new casting for M2 which is uh, pretty cool they're gonna see a lot more of these out I'm sure I think this is the second one I've got now it's pretty cool it's got like the flathead in there engine no bumper nothing on the front yeah it's a pretty cool little unit for sure got brown interior in it not bad it's the back of her got a neat old car for sure pretty cool now this one here is a 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Hemi and it's super stock and the color on this thing is awesome it pops it looks really really good this is uh, green with the black hood and black accent panel on the side of it there with black interior this thing is really really sharp I have this casting quite a few times but uh, this one here just pops I don't know what it is it is very cool I really like this one here did a nice job with that paint scheme for sure she stubbed out in the back thing is awesome like that and then we have the 66 Chevy Corvette 427 done in black with the yellow accent stripe or race stripe on it and black interior again not bad not a bad casting of this car I have this casting again quite a few times but uh, you know they steep changing the paint jobs on them so I just keep getting them there's the back of her not bad pretty cool car and then we got some more chili here this is a 1964 Dodge A100 panel van and uh, it looks all right nothing wrong with that so I've got the other three of this uh, Harmel chili I guess it is um, so hopefully they come up with another two because I do have a sleeve that uh, I can put all six of them into it. So that would be a pretty cool little set when it's done. There's the front of her. And again this one here. They're leaving this one behind too. But uh, I like it. It looks alright. Of course it's part of the set so you can't leave it behind. At least I can't. I like to complete them for sure. So that's that one. So that's the... Uh, I guess that's the end of the M2s and we'll do some green light here I've got a hobby exclusive here and I don't know if you can see that it is the Hell Drivers and uh, this is a 1966 Dodge D100 now when I was younger my grandparents took me to see these guys uh, it was pretty interesting back in the day seeing these guys the hell drivers that was pretty cool so I had to grab this and I'm hoping they have more models of this uh, hell driver series because uh, I'd like to get them for sure this is done in white with white interior 
World's Fair Hell Drivers. It's awesome. I've seen these at uh, London, Ontario at the uh, fairgrounds. That's a long, long time ago though. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Love it. Fantastic. Bring back some memories there for me. And then we got another hobby exclusive right here. I don't know how well you see the uh, card art or anything, but this is Indianapolis Speedway. And this is the official pace car. And it's 1978 Chevy Corvette. Done with the black and the silver with the silver interior. Which is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, this is another one that I had to order. And uh, I'm quite happy with it. I think that is just awesome. Very cool looking car. Did a nice job with it. This back of her. Another fantastic job with that car. Did a great job. Awesome. Love it. Right there. Alrighty. So, we get with the green light, we got some Hollywood Hitch and Toes. And this is um, Counting Cars. This one here is done with the History Channel. And it's a 2020 Chevy Silverado and a 1968 Chevy Nova Yanko uh, SC427 with a flatbed trailer. Now there's the truck and they've got Yanko on the uh, side of the truck which is pretty cool. Nice little touch. It kind of matches the car. It's not bad at all. Here's the front of her. It's a nice casting of the truck. They, they did pretty good with that. But uh, this is quite a little unit. And there's the uh, Nova. Again, black interior in that. Uh, the color is not really flashy by any means, but uh, it's not bad. I think it would have been a little more brighter paint, more shine to it or something, but yeah, it looks all right. Not bad. It's a pretty cool set. There's a flatbed trailer, which is pretty normal, standard trailers for uh, green light now. But yeah, that's a pretty cool set. I don't mind that at all. Uh, that was pretty cool. And then we got this one here. We got Gone in 60 Seconds, which is awesome. They did a fantastic job. Now, I have to find another one of these now because the wheels on that uh, Eleanor are not chrome. It's like they, uh, the chrome fell off or something. I don't know what happened there. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be chrome on that. But uh, I could be wrong. It looks like it's really weathered or something. Like it's a funny looking paint job on this car for sure. But uh, it's still pretty cool setup. And there's the uh, 2020 Ford 150 XL. And of course it's a 67 Mustang with Eleanor and enclosed trailer. But yeah, the, uh, the car, I'm not sure what's going on with that because it's... It's almost like it's got dust or something on it. Maybe it's a barn find. I'm not sure what the heck's going on there, but the wheels are not chrome. The chrome's all peeled off them. So uh, I'm going to have to look into that a little better, I guess, because I think they're supposed to be chrome. But uh, it's got black interior in there. It's a pretty cool unit. Uh, it's almost like it is a barn find, but I don't know. The truck's pretty cool. It's got gray interior in the truck. Of course, Ford, awesome. Very nice unit. And of course, the trailer is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's uh, gone in 60 seconds. And that is the Hollywood Hitch and Toes. And I got one more for the Hitch and Toes, and it is Graveyard Cars. And it's a 2022 Dodge Ram 2500 and 1970 Plymouth Cuda 340 with enclosed car trailer. Now the truck, there it is, that's a big truck. Like That looks pretty good. I think they did a pretty nice job of that thing. Graveyard cars, it's got black interior, black exterior, chrome wheels. Did a nice job with that grill. They did a nice job with that for sure. Looks good. Very good. And then of course there's the uh, Plymouth Cuda right there. It's orange with the black interior, black vinyl roof, 
good clean looking car for sure another nice job with that it's really hard to see in these packages I guess but do the best I can here and there's the uh, trailer graveyard cars yeah pretty cool unit for sure it's all right and then along with the Hollywood series I did get the new Hollywood series set and uh, this is series 39 so it's a 1974 Volkswagen type 1881 the thing now this one here looks like it is a barn fine by the looks of that they've uh, really weathered it and made it look dusty did not a bad job on that looks all right there's a lot of these uh, things left on the pegs around here they're not very popular that's for sure there's the back of her but I think it's pretty cool not bad at all and it I did get the whole series so that was pretty cool and they came out with another Yellowstone vehicle which I uh, kind of got to find another one of these ones I think because the mirror is on the ground in there and it's a 2020 Ram 2500 and the mirror fell off it so eh, if I find another one I find another one if not uh, I guess I'll have to just live with it but uh, it's a pretty cool truck it's gray with the black interior not bad it's got the big brush guard on the front which is pretty beefy that's for sure yeah pretty cool part of Yellowstone so I'm right caught up with the Yellowstone stuff anyways so that's all right and then this is a different one coming to America now this is an old uh, Eddie Murphy show or Eddie Murphy movie I guess and this is a 1981 Chevy Impala which is done in yellow with the uh, black interior now it's uh it was actually a pretty good show I didn't mind this movie at all it's kind of neat to see one of the vehicles from that show it is pretty cool pretty cool that's coming to America on Eddie Murphy's movies that's all right and then we got NCI S New Orleans uh, I've never seen this show so I don't know anything about it but it's a 2006 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor which is pretty cool they did a nice job with this looks awesome black interior very nice looking car for sure Here's the front of her. Pretty awesome. I like that. Nice job. Awesome. Of course, the card art. Not much to the card art, but uh, it's there. And then we have the Terminator. This is a 1977 Dodge Monaco. Again, very cool casting. It's a regular police car with tan interior. Pretty cool. I like these Monaco's. They've done a nice job with these things. There's a front of her. You don't see a lot of castings of these cars. I think uh, probably Green Light's the only one I've seen that does it. That is pretty cool. Again, very neat. And there's the uh, card art Terminator. Pretty awesome. And I just got one of these here a couple weeks ago. The older version. It's the Brady Bunch. And it's a 1969 Plymouth Satellite Station Wagon. And uh, this one here is weathered. Which is uh, very unique. The other one I got is a clean version. And I don't believe it has those bags on the top. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Again, almost like it's weathered or it's just dirty. I don't know. The, the windows are all kind of... Uh, I don't know dusty or dirty I don't know but uh, again just awesome so I have a clean version and this version of it now which is pretty cool I just picked up one of these castings just a week ago or two weeks ago it's in my video that's pretty awesome I like that another great job with that and we got one more for that set and that is 
Beverly Hills Cop. This is a 1981 Chevy Impala. Again, another one of Eddie Murphy's movies, which is pretty cool. There it is. Black and white, black interior in there. And the uh, push bar sits out quite a distance on this one. Sits out there a long ways. But, oh no. Very nice casting of this car. I got the complete Hollywood series now of this one, so that's pretty cool. I didn't have to go look for one that I missed. I managed to get them all at one shot. Just awesome. So, that's all the green lights, and now we get to go into Johnny Lightning. Now, the Johnny Lightning ones are pretty cool. And if you like what you see so far, why don't you hit that uh, like and subscribe. So here we go, 1955 Chevy 210 from Johnny Lightning. And this is done very nice. I like the color on this one. And it's got green interior and yellow exterior. It kind of don't go too good together, I don't think. But it's a pretty nice car. I like the color of it. It's got white wall tires on her. Pretty cool. It's in front of her, pretty sharp. Good looking car. Like you'd see back in the day, I would imagine. Nice pale yellow. And she does come with the uh, little collector's box here for it when you hit it open. And there's some uh, little information. It says it was a uh, film American Graffiti in the two-lane blacktop. Okay, pretty cool. A little bit of information there, I guess. 210 was featured. And then we've got a neat little set here. This is Johnny Lightning. Now I've ordered the other set, the A version of this. I've only got the B version so far. And this is a Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Now this is a pretty cool set. A lot of nice cars in this set for sure. And this first one is a 1971 Ford Torino Cobra. Done in this grabber lime with black interior. Just awesome. Very cool looking car. I do have this casting. I think it may be from Johnny Lightning already in this color and everything. But I'm not 100% sure. But I do have one. And I think that is just an awesome car. Great job with this car for sure. Love the colors on it. Just awesome. There's some muscle facts if you want to pause it and read it. So uh, you know more about it I guess. I'm not going to read all these. It's going to be... Too long. The uh, video's already getting pretty long. This is a 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. Again, awesome. Black with black interior. It's got the white stripe with the fin on the back. Just awesome. Good looking car. Again, like these Daytonas. They're just awesome. And then there's some uh, muscle facts there again. If you want to pause it and read it, you can do that. That is awesome. Great car. Love it. And of course, one on the car dart here is orange. I guess I never showed the other one there. The other one is blue for the uh, Torino. So, I get the other set. It would be nice. And then we have the 1970 Oldsmobile 442 W30. And if you see car dart, it's blue. But this here is actually antique pewter, it's called. That's the color of this one with black interior. Again, pretty cool color. Not bad at all. Got red line tires on her. Black interior. Nice. Pretty sweet little ride there. Thing is awesome. And there's some facts for it too. I'm going to pause and read it again. Pretty cool. It's kind of nice they put these little facts on there. I should probably read them first, but I don't. And then we got the 1965 GTO, which is my favorite car. This is what I had back in the day. This is a black one here. And the card art. And this one here is Blue Mist Slate Poly. Now this is a pretty cool color. It's got a blue interior in it, which is not bad. This is a pretty sharp looking car. And it's got the red line tires on it. Just awesome. Now, it looks like they might have messed up that decal there. It's uh, not straight across there. So this one here might be a little bit of an error. But anyways, it's not really an error. It's just somebody messed up. 
but it is a cool casting of this car. I love the 65s. This thing is awesome. Love it. Here's the back of her. Fantastic car. Love it. And then we have the 1969 Chevy Corvette right there. And it's got blue interior, black exterior, red line tires. Very cool. And I just realized that I did not show you the fun facts or muscle facts from that GTO. So I'm going to have to show that again. I'm going to show you the facts for this one here. You want to pause it and read it. It's pretty cool. But that's a cool looking car right there. That thing is awesome. Like that. Even the blue interior does not look bad on this car. And the uh, color on the car is like a red or maybe a cherry, black cherry or something. Just this way the sun's hitting it there. Kind of cool. But I'm going to show you this GTO facts again. There they are there. You want to pause it and read it. Hopefully it will focus for me right there. So yeah, there we go. That's the GTO. And that's the VAT. And then we have the 1969 Chevy Copo Camaro. Done in green with black interior. This is a cool looking green. It's got lots of metallic in it. Awesome. Very nice job. And of course the car dart, it has a blue one. And you see it's got the hideaway headlights and everything. Same as this. Pretty cool. Awesome car, nice casting of it. Looks really good. It's the back of her. Another nice job. And I got version A coming. I've ordered it. I'm just waiting for it. And there's the muscle facts of that car right there. If you want to pause it and read it, you're more than welcome to do that, of course. So, yeah, that's uh, all of them, too. So, I guess I had a pretty good weekend doing this. And uh, we'll see what next weekend brings. And uh, I guess if you like that, uh, hit that like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a safe week. See ya.